Nothing to hold me back. Take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man passing by. Life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in it, so where I can find myself. Hey there, Jim and I. How are you? We're going to get started on your tarot reading for the present moment. Yes, this reading is good for right now, whenever that is, regardless of the date. But we are in the month of June. So technically it is a June reading, guys. But listen, it's good for whenever it finds you, regardless of the date. All right, let's begin. I'm using the Tarot of the 78 Doors. This is what the deck looks like. And it's not really focusing, guys, because I disabled the, the zoom in, in, in my camera because it was uh, flickering. Like it, it wasn't like able to focus and... Um, I just couldn't deal deal with that <laughs> right now. I'm, I'm I have I have to get these readings done, so I disabled it just for right now. But I do plan to fix that at a later time. But right now, let's get started on your reading. All right, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, in the sign of Gemini. What insight, foresight, guidance, revelations do we have for the sign of Gemini in their love life, in their in in romance, in their relationships? Let's see. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. All right, let's begin. We have the Six of Wands and then we have the King of Cups. Oh my goodness. So there is perhaps the Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces of significance. Doesn't have to be, okay? But there is a masculine energy that is coming forth that is stepping up, guys. What does that mean? For each and every one of you, stepping up is going to mean something different depending on your situation. Now, this just means that there is somebody that is going to be coming forth in, in, in the proper way, okay? Whatever is expected from them to do what is right for them to do, they're going to do it and it's really going to stand out in such a great, in a magnific magnificent way, guys. Wow, so what is somebody proposing? Is my see even somebody getting some sort of... Uh, promotion for others of you. This is a person that is going to be entering your life, maybe somebody from your past, and um, they're coming forth transformed, uh, having really worked on themselves, accomplished a whole lot. And it's kind of like you're seeing a different person. Do you see there's a gentleman and they're, they're coming in through the door and uh, it feels like for many of you, maybe you've been expecting this person for others of you. Maybe you're just happy to see them. And look, they're coming through the door and it's such a pleasant surprise. Like, wow, I did not expect to feel this way, actually. <laughs> I expected, you know, maybe the next time we saw each other or, you know, you we came across each other or the next time you just showed up, I was expecting to be really disappointed. <laughs> but I'm actually pleasantly surprised. And here we have a merman the king of cups and uh well for many of you this is a uh, this is somebody that uh this is a romantic a romantic partner what is it uh a romantic candidate here for you somebody for you to consider that you're really considering Six of Wands and King of Cups. For many of you, I feel like this person has purposely, okay, stepped it up, stepped, I'm hearing stepped up their game specifically for you. So they're trying to impress you. And I and I do see uh them meeting their goal if, if that's if that's what they're trying to do for sure. You see that? Wow, who's walking in through that door looking so good, looking so fresh? Uh I'm getting that somebody fixed their teeth because <laughs> right now I heard Colgate smile. <laughs> so maybe somebody fixed their teeth, which is just symbolic of somebody that has really even worked on their appearance, guys, because um, they've been working themselves up for this for this moment, perhaps for some time. And they're finally able, I'm hearing, to come forth to you in this way. I'm getting that for many of you. This is a person that um, you have history with and... I feel like this is something 
this is something that they wanted to do earlier on, but for whatever reason, they were unable to do it. But now I'm hearing they're coming forth and they're presenting, I'm hearing themselves, their love to you in the way that they've always wanted to. Interesting, look at the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Pentacles. And it goes very well with what I'm saying because guys, the Knight of Pentacles is somebody that um, works very hard, that makes the plan and that sees it through. They're a perfectionist as well. And they're coming forth with a present. And we have somebody, we have a feminine energy that's, uh, you know, that, that sees them coming, that's expecting them that's there for their arrival. And they seem to be happy, like they're waving their hand and here comes this Knight of Pentacles, like, hey, I've been doing all this work because that's what the Knight of Pentacles does. They invest their time and their energy into whatever, whatever project, whatever it is that they're trying to manifest, create here. And they do take their time. <laughs> and then right now I heard, yes, I know. I know they, they take their time. This could be a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn. So that's what we have, guys. We have a Knight of Pentacles that has finally, you know, um, has finally arrived to their destination. And their destination is uh, here with you. And no matter how much time has passed, I feel like this is something that you are welcoming. It's something that really uh, makes you happy. It Even for many of you, it brings you a whole lot of healing. There's a, a healing energy that is present, guys, with this, uh, with this star. Feelings, emotions are pouring. Do you see that? <sighs> So there's this overflow of emotions, guys, a, re a renewed hope as well that is being felt. And there's there's this dreaminess in the air that's just so lovely, guys, uh, finally of being here in this moment. And here we have the Page of Wands, guys. And it, this person is going to be full of surprises. So let me just tell you that. The Page of Wands. Here we have, we, here we have a, a woman, right? A feminine energy opening the door. And uh, it looks like a surprise. And look, there's such a huge, a huge smile on their face. They're happy to see this person there. I'm happy to see you. And then right now I'm hearing, I'm happy to be here. I have so much to share with you. I have so much that I want to share with you. I have this, this surprise. There's something here that I've been waiting to give you. And it's so exciting, guys. Oh my God, it's so exciting. It's, there's, there feels, it feels like the sus suspense has been building and, and for, for so long. Like this just is everything has been building up to this moment here. And look, at the bottom of the deck, guys, we have the page of pentacles. So I'm seeing both of these pages representative of just good news, happy news, news that that are well received, multiple things as well, pleasant surprises, guys, as well as propositions that are going to be extended, offered to you. So look at this page. This is the page of pentacles. And again, what is the page doing? The page is knocking at the door. And they have something hidden behind their back. So goodness gracious, there's just so much, guys, to be happy for. News that for many of you felt like it would never come. Things that felt like they were never going to happen or never finally going to arrive. It's like it's all happening all at once, guys. And it's it's very exciting. At the bottom of the deck, this could be a Taurus for some of you, Aquarius for others of you, the Hierophant. And look, like this one has some truth to speak, doesn't he? Like he has something to say, like, listen up. But like I'm seeing this Hierophant as somebody that is standing in the middle of a very busy place or they're just, you know, taking center stage in a way. And they're like, whatever it is that they have to say, it's like, they mean it. This is how they feel. These are strong beliefs. It is that they have, and they just need to uh, share these things with you. And I'm hearing in, ho in, the, in hopes that 
they're well received. Now the hair font as well is about commitment and relationships for many of you. This is what is happening here. It feels like somebody is um, offering you everything it is that you want and everything it is that you desire. Oh, there's like a fruit fly flying around. I think that was, or maybe it was like a little piece of fuzz that's just flying in the air. Oh, it is. Oh no. I, that's right. I have the window open. I just opened it as a matter of fact, when I started your reading just before that, I opened the window. All right. Hierophant. This is somebody dropping them here and there's somebody dropping truth bombs, especially so with the ace of swords. So, um, I see somebody that, um, I see you as somebody else being just so happy about, um, what's going on, what's happening. All of this feels very fluid guys. It's just flowing. And, and, and I feel like both, both of you are very open to receive it for this exchange. And, um, I also see very important conversations that are being had. Okay. Like somebody is coming forth very serious. Honestly, this feels like somebody really is very, very sure about what it is that they want and, and uh, how they want things to move forward from here. And, uh, well, pr pretty much, uh, that just means that there's somebody that is very serious about you and that wants a serious uh, commitment. Now, whatever that serious commitment is, it could be just getting into a serious relationship. It could be marriage. It could be engagement. It's just something uh, exclusive I'm hearing. There's some things in this person's life that they want to share with you and let you know. So it feels like this person really wants to be very clear and very transparent with you about what is happening, may, of what is happening in their lives. The hair font and then the ace of swords. For some of you could be in, in specific about a particular relationship in their life. We have, oh, okay. We have the justice and then we have the devil. For many of you, this is a person who uh, is either divorced, they might not be divorced, but maybe there is uh, something that there is still linked to them, that it still attaches them to another person. And it's something perhaps that they're still working through. And I feel like they will be letting you know about that, the devil, and then this justice card. I feel like these are uh, links. I'm hearing certain links, certain contracts that bind this person. Doesn't have to be in connection to love or relationship. Relationship. I'm hearing it could be as simple as a, like a lease at a home. Okay. Like just something that is an obstacle or something that, uh, they have, uh, committed to in, in some way or that legally in some way or another, maybe not legally, but binds them. Okay. That they're still restricted from the devil. And then the justice card. And I feel like, again, that's that hair font. And then that's the ace of source. Like this person is just being very clear, very transparent and very honest about uh, where it is that they stand. And that's because they really want you to trust them with the hair font. They really want to start working on, you know, uh, the loyalties here between the both of you. And they, I feel like they just want to do everything by the book or they want to do everything right. Okay. With this hair font. All right. So that's kind of like where we stand. Ooh. Okay. Gemini. I like this. Let's see. How are things going to be moving forward? How are things going to be moving forward? This is foresight for you. This is foresight. How are things going to be moving forward? Let's give my dear Gemini some, uh, well, something, something they can see coming, <laughs> something they can look forward to. Let's see. What's next? We have the page of cups. Okay. Interesting. The way this card is depicted, look, it, it reminds me of somebody that is searching for gold, but not really because you see that thing that they're holding. It's like, they're trying to find their way. They're trying to find their way. Um, I feel like it's been very, it was very hard. For, I, okay. Several things. 
up until this point, I feel like the path here up to this point has been incredibly difficult, perhaps for you, Gemini, for the other person, for everybody involved here. It, it, it feels like trying, it, it felt like trying to find water in a desert, I'm hearing. That's how hard it was. That's how hard it was to get here, to, to, to finally arrive at this moment with this uh, page of cups. This person looks just slightly a little bit lost, but they still have a sense of direction. And with it being the page of cups, I feel like this person was really listening to their feelings and their emotions uh, all the way through. And this is where their feelings and their emotions have led them to. Um, and uh, I feel like they have a strong desire as well to be replenished emotionally. And I feel like that that desire to be replenished, okay, has led them here to you. I'm here. So you have that power to be able to heal, bring this person emotional healing. And with the 10 of wands reversed, um, I feel like this person just simply, I'm here and reaching this moment, this place in time, uh, really allows, uh, really, um, it allows them to finally release a burden, a heaviness that they were carrying. I mean, because for a long time, that was such a, a, a burden for, for on their shoulders. I'm hearing just knowing that they were here and needed to be over there. Okay. I see this person as well. Okay. Uh, for many of you, the masculine energy. Uh, walking away from a lot of things in their life, moving away. Do you see that? Finally embarking on a journey. So it kind of feels like for them that this is just like, they don't feel like they are at the end of their journey. Although, you know, I'm hearing they did start off on a journey some time ago and they have reached a destination. I'm hearing, but this is not where it ends. They still know that there's some more road to travel. And that at the present moment, I'm hearing and tells for them to walk away from a lot of things that they had invested in for a very long time that are not fulfilling them anymore. And they're setting out, I'm hearing for setting out, uh, they're setting forth in search for emotional fulfillment, happiness in, in their lives. And they, they're ready to, to, they're ready to do that, guys. They're ready to be happy, to find happiness here with this Eight of Swords. So it kind of feels like bittersweet. Uh, sweet in the way that they are finally, I'm hearing, uh, the happiness is in sight. They can see this new journey that is right before them, but it's bitter in the way of uh, everything it is that they're having to walk away from. All right. Tell me more, tell me more. Despite all of that, this is an incredibly exciting time, guys. Things feel a lot lighter. Things are going to feel a lot easier. The road is not going to feel as harsh anymore. I'm hearing, so this is going to feel like a hike that you actually want to go on, whereas this kind of felt like being stuck out in the desert, <laughs> you know, for a while. And this Eight of Wands is more so like, hey, I am going on a hike because I want to, like, I want to step out into nature. I want to go on this adventure. I, uh, I want to go on this challenge. Like, this is something that I want to, that I want to do. Here we have the Justice card again. I feel like uh, this person, my dear Jim, and I has a strong desire to make things right, to balance uh, anything out that's out of whack, out of balance in the connection, the relationship. I feel like there's a strong desire to communicate again clearly, just that, communicating clearly. I'm hearing laying everything out on the table for you to see, for you to understand. Uh, they, this person really wants to reassure you as well. It's kind. It's like they're giving you this contract, right? Like, listen, uh, Gemini. I promise, just so you know that I'm not kidding. Like, look, let's. This is what. This this is the contract, right? This is what legally binds me to you. Like, I can't do this. This is what I'm gonna do. It's kind of like what this feels like. Like this person really wants to uh, make things clear. 
they're going to be making things very clear. I feel like there might be for many of you, there's another person that is involved here. That's certainly that could be an ex, maybe somebody that they divorced. Maybe there's kids involved for some of you. Maybe there's other legal matters involved here. Um, but you see, there's like this argument. It feels like these two people are disagreeing and there's this middle person here like, okay, okay. Like you guys can't settle this. Yeah, well, let's go here. So, um, there is some oppose, opposing uh, energies here that are coming together. So you see, like, let's say that maybe that's you at the middle. And then there's this person and then there's other, these two forces, opposite forces from two directions that are coming forth and they're all meeting there in front of you. So this, I mean, this could be you, Jim, and I having to find balance between that sort of dynamic there. All right, let's see. Wow. Okay. There's a new baby for many of you. Look at that. I mean, hello. That's quite forward, isn't it? <laughs> That's a baby. That's a whole new beginning for many of you guys. That's a whole new beginning. I'm seeing this baby representative for many of you as something that just, you know, happens. It's birth into your life. And it's like that thing there changes everything. Everybody's going to everything, the relationships, the connection, everything in your life is going to change because of what is happening. And it, it is representative of just, I'm hearing a whole new direction, a whole new life in a sense, because there is this new element, uh, there's this new life, okay, that has been birthed that in somebody's life, which is coming forth as a, a relationship for many of you. Just these new dynamics I'm hearing that are just really going to uh, make a humongous difference. We have the three of wands and here we have somebody with, uh, what is it, a lighthouse, we have a we have a lighthouse. What is this lighthouse doing here? This three of wands. So these are plants, guys. Oh my goodness! Is there just major new cycles, Gemini? And just because of that, I feel like there's like plans are really going to shift. Plans are going to change, but as well because of these changes, everything is just really going to become a lot more clear, which is going to give you, the other person, everyone involved here, a, a strong sense of direction and what to do next and what to plan for. Beautiful energy. Ooh, that I thought that almost fell. Here we have the 10 of swords. Okay. We have somebody getting acupuncture. All right, guys. So, I feel like for others of you, okay, this this world card, this three of wands and this ten of swords is representative, yes, of like this new, of, of some sort of responsibility. This is a, a responsibility of some sort that requires somebody to plan every step that they take. Like, you know, like if this is an actual child that is born, like you just cannot, you know, maybe live your life the way that you did. You have a lot more responsibility. There's things that you have to think uh, through a little bit more. So um, that again, doesn't have to be a baby, but it could be um, something similar. Okay, a responsibility of some sort that uh, doesn't, that requires for you somebody else to kind of slide, st uh, plan ahead uh, all the time and consider uh, everyone or something right and i feel like that's a pain of some sort right this ten of swords is i feel like it's it's a feels like a huge burden at the present moment and again guys um that's we we can connect this world card this baby here as with the justice okay and it doesn't have to be an actual baby right it, it, it's it's just a resp let's just call it a responsibility something that somebody feels legally maybe or just binded to in some way that they can't like uh just forget about it's like I have this issue, this thing that I kind of have to work out all the way through the end. That's what you can expect, guys. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. 
let's continue. Let's continue. Let's dig into this a little bit more. What is something it is that you should know? Or just tell me more about the future and what my dear Jim and I can expect. Tell me more. Tell me more about the near future. Tell me more about what is going to be happening and transpiring here. We have the full. And we have the strength card, guys. All right. So I see you, my dear Jim and I embarking on this new beginning maybe you feel like you're not prepared somebody feels like they're not prepared okay i'm not necessarily prepared but i really don't give i don't really care if i'm prepared or not this is just what i'm going to do and i'm going to take it day by day and i'm going to confront it and i'm going to enjoy it and i'm going to live in the present and i'm not going to allow anything to stop me or interrupt me i'm just going to deal with everything and take go on this new expedition on this new journey that is here right in front of me regardless i'm, I'm hearing of whatever responsibilities of whatever i feel binded to or tied to like nothing is going to stop me from doing this and there might be something that is trying to i'm hearing to stop somebody stop you uh from completely i'm hearing go venturing off and there's a cute little there's a cute dog there so this is a person that is just uh allowing right their spirit to guide them forward that knows that they're they 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 don't know uh exactly maybe how things are going to turn out but they know that this is what they want to do this is what i want to do and i'm going to do it yes you know maybe things are not exactly the way that i would have wanted they're not how i pictured it maybe but that's okay that's fine this is where i find myself at and um uh, let's let's move forward i'm going to open i'm hearing this new door and they have a key in their hand, like, here we go, here we go. And then the strength card, I feel like this is just a person that is feeling confident in this path and what it is that they're doing. I, I even feel like they feel supported. They're being brave, guys, and, and they're really calming. I'm hearing any sort of anxieties that are coming about. We saw it in the Ten of Swords. And um, I'm hearing they're exerting their will and they're moving forward. Look at that with a strong spirit beautiful energy guys and i'm also seeing this strength card as you my dear gemini all right this th these two people right like this this one guy here and this um this person in the in the full it could be a little scary right like gosh i don't have this i don't have that I'm hearing, but the truth is you don't need that and you don't need this, okay? You just need to move forward. That's it, right? You need to unlock this door that is in front of you and embark on this journey. That's really all that's needed, right? A childlike curiosity and a willingness. That's all that's really needed. Anything else is just, it's not necessary. And uh, well, that could be a little bit scary, right? And the strength card, I'm seeing it as another person that is really very encouraging. That's very, it's a very calming, very supportive energy. And yeah, that's encouraging this other person that is make, putting them at ease. Any anxieties, fears it is that they have, they're able to overcome them because of who this person is that is next to them. That just puts them at ease, comforts them. Do you see that? Beautiful energy, guys. Lovely, lovely. All right. Closing messages for Gemini. If you want to book a reading with me, guys, you can do so by going to the link down below in the description box. It's going to take you to watchervoyagetarot.com where you can book a private reading with me. All right, guys. Closing messages. Closing messages for Gemini. Let's see. Closing messages. Closing messages. Whoops. For Gemini. Let's see. We have chemistry there's a strong magnetic attraction here there's a strong magnetic attraction absolutely guys i feel like these are just two people that again they're just so it feels like if we saw it at the beginning guys like there these two people coming together and it's it's like and we even saw it at the beginning at the beginning to the end it's like there's nothing 
that uh, can really separate these two people because the energy between them, what they're feeling is just so strong that it just, it links them together in this moment. There's a strong magnetic attraction. Let's continue. Can you feel this? Yes, I can feel it. I'm telling you, emotions, passions, the energy is, is just so strong. Finances and career. Financial issues are a factor in your life right now. We saw that with the justice card. There's things, right, that mm, you, there's issues, things that still need balance, need to be resolved, that still need your attention, career, finances. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. But I feel like um, that's all going to resolve itself, guys. That's all going to resolve itself. I'm here and just it's all all you all you need is the right person next to you to just, you know, be able to go through this comfortably. And, and I do see that happening. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all. It is I feel like two people are feeling that way, guys. Like it two people just are trusting one another and feel safe in each other's presence and feel safe in uh, sharing their hearts with one another. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart and give and receive the highest energy of all. Wow. Let's get some more. Retreat. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. You've already met this person. They're right there. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Hello. I saw we saw that definitely the justice there. Some somebody trying to cut some ties, some links there. Cancel I'm hearing avoid some contracts. <laughs> Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. You, that's beautiful, guys. That's pretty much the energy of, of, of the reading that I feel like. That's what I foresee for for this for you guys. It's like come just it's like no like in when you're in each other's presence, when you're 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 these people are in love and when you're in love, guys, it just makes everything not seem so bad, does it? These two people retreating. Retreating from everything, spending time together, being inseparable, taking time alone and apart to kind of just be with one another. It's time to disconnect from the world. Beautiful energy, guys. And that's something that for many of you, that's just what needs to happen right here. For many of you, like just disconnect for a little while. The butterfly effect closing message for Gemini. Closing message for Gemini. Let's see. We have completion. Oh my goodness. That goes. Completion. Finally. Gateway. Wow. Balance. Completion. 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 It says you'll reach some kind of completion on your or you're very close, leaving you feeling accomplished and happy. A new chapter will emerge and you'll once again start the next challenge. It goes. I love get I, I love pulling oracle cards at the end of my reading because they just they just reaffirm everything we've just uncovered in the reading. Gateway. A flood of opportunities are coming your way, giving you many choices to venture on a new path. Listen to your inner voice and let your soul make your decision. Expect to be busy. Here we have career change for many of you. Balance. Balance is being restored. You're harnessing a level of self-mastery and possibly even reinventing yourself after finding your personal power through your own struggles. Career change. New a new opportunity comes. This is a new beginning that will change. I'm sorry, that will challenge you to get out of your comfort zone and expand your horizons. No more playing it small. Time to dream big. This is what I have for you, Gemini. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. As always, truly, it was an honor and my pleasure. You guys take care, okay? Bye bye.